What's going on? My name is Saint. I'm a Mind Valley certified life coach, six phase meditation trainer, and business coach consultant. I focus on self mastery for high performers. My coaching platform will be pre launching in the next video with more details. So be sure to subscribe and turn on the post notifications. Now, you don't need to be certified to be a coach, but in today's video, we're gonna get into the power of self love and the outcome of following your heart. You see, when I was 16 years old, my first ever job was coaching. I would coach kids ages five to 12 in the mornings for outdoors recreation and basketball in the evenings. I love being able to witness firsthand these kids going from not knowing how to shoot and dribble to making their first shot and seeing that pure sense of joy and excitement come over them. And then from there, just knowing that now that they've done it once, they can do it again and again and seeing them put in that hard work and that effort to continue to just grow these skills and these newfound abilities. I loved being there, witnessing it, and also being a part of creating that transformation. And from there, I just knew that that's just something I couldn't see myself not doing. It didn't feel like a job. It didn't feel like I was being forced to do this or had to do it to make ends meet. Nothing like that. It was simply, I'm here to be a guide for you. So personal development has been my lifelong passion, not only for myself, but for guiding others towards the same type of growth and transformation for their own selves. After my first summer, I became the director of the training division. So I continued doing this coaching I would coach in the summers and then I'd have basketball in the school year and then I would coach and then have basketball in school back and forth and I did that for about five years before shifting into my basketball career at the Academy of Art where I was really trying to make that trade off to become a designer um, and focus on my career as a designer which I'm still doing to this day. But there comes a point I really care about people and seeing others doing what they're meant to do is the biggest thing that brings me joy outside of living for my own self and working to impress myself. We're all supposed to be within our own core selves, operating from within and realizing that we have all of this potential within us. I've always had a natural curiosity for life and discovering the purpose of what we're doing here. When I was maybe around six to eight years old, I'd be at my godmom's house, who was my babysitter, and just sitting in solitude, gazing into the fire, seeing those flames, and really just pondering about life. Just like, what are we really doing here? What is the purpose of this? What are we all supposed to be doing anyway? Why does everyone feel that I should be verbally speaking all the time? If I have a dollar for every time someone asks me, cat got your tongue, I wouldn't have had to work later on. <laughs> like, honestly, now my current self knows that that answer could have easily been, no, my higher self does. Anyways, I really didn't let it phase me. That did not change me one bit. I continued to operate from this introspective perspective and it carried me on all the way to this very day. I still operate from that mood. So, Long story short, I'm sitting here yet again, searching for that fulfillment, that love, right? Self-love means following your heart. My heart has always been in coaching. It has started that way. And even throughout my design career, I love designing. I don't get the same feeling as I did when I coached. And so that has sat with me throughout these years. So in 2022, I finally made the decision on February 14th, the day met for love, that I could no longer go another day not following my heart again. People would ask me, say, would you go back and coach basketball? And I could do it in the future, but I wanted something different. And that's where Mind Valley came in. Mind Valley is the world's largest personal growth platform with millions of lives transformed. Being someone who loves personal development, I already knew what Mind Valley was, but I didn't sign up for my own Mind Valley account. I was like, you know what? I love Mind Valley, but I really want to work with them in a different capacity. I could see myself doing something else that works with the people who created Mind Valley. 
in 2021. I just put that out there into the universe. And so when I saw my Valley send out this email about a year after I had signed up. So I just said, you know, I'll sign up for emails on my Valley. So now flash forward to about a year later or so, I see this email come through and it's from the coaching division of Mind Valley, ever coached by Mind Valley. And it says, become a life coach. I will never lack faith in the collector's ability to become aware of their purpose. We are all meant to do something specific in this life. And having this gift and this natural inclination to become a coach right now in this day and age, I had to go for it. I went to this webinar and that was an hour webinar. I went, I checked it out. I was like, this is it. Talk to my sister, my family. And I'm like, this is, this is what I want to do. I'm stepping out there. I'm listening to my heart. I'm going out in love and I'm going to become a Mind Valley coach. So the first day of the program was on February 14th, 2022, the day met for love, and that is exactly what I stepped into, and I haven't stopped since. The past year, I've actually spent this time adopting these methodologies into my own life and coaching myself with these iconic tools. I'm spending time on live calls with Vision and Ajit. I love this program. Since doing it, I transformed into another version of me that I just wasn't able to unlock before. I've never really loved the term life coach because it's just so general. And I think people just have this negative connotation of what that means. It's just not clear in what actually comes from that. What it means is personal development, self-transformation, self-mastery, human potential. I look up to myself. I don't look up to many other people. I look internal to me and my higher self to make myself better. I always had this mantra ever since I was growing up that I could become more just from the efforts in my mindset and the efforts and the behaviors that I put in each and every day that focuses on who I want to become. Being able to set my mind to something, work towards it, achieve it, and realize I just did that. I could do it again, but if I continue to up-level myself, I can achieve more and more and more and just continue to raise myself and my vibration and my ability to co-create with the universe and transform who I am. The human experience, what makes up our human experience? Now this is where me being a designer, a product designer, really comes into play. I shape the world in visual interfaces, but that really matches a core problem that's trying to be met and solved. So take those abilities and skill sets and now it just makes me an even better coach. So I love the way that my life has been led to this path and it's just where I know I should be. And so I challenged myself to continue to live up to what I know I wanna do and who I wanted to become. And I've been able to reach another level of spiritual development. Being a high performer is really about getting out of your comfort zone to challenge yourself to be so intently focused and even if it feels so outside of yourself like maybe something where you can't reach it or maybe you're nervous or afraid that you can't it scares you in a sense it should your goals should feel so out of reach that you have to become something so great that you achieve it because now you've up leveled yourself and now you look back to be like i put my mind to it I put the work in, I put in all the efforts and the behaviors, and I stayed focused and consistent. I'm gonna up level what I even expect. I'm gonna ask for things that might be outlandish to other people and still achieve that because you can. This is something that keeps me up every night, just from the pure joy and excitement of learning um, about these infinite possibilities that are truly very real that you hear about. But most times when you hear someone speaking about it, it's like, what does that really mean? Like, how can I actually do that in my life and bring that into my state of existence, right? And so that's what we will get into in future videos or even just my coaching platform that I have been working so hard in the background to build and create and design. And I'm really excited for that. So like I said, make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that you have the post notifications turned on because in the next video, I will be pre-launching Creator of Self Collective. It's this beautiful fusion now of myself and Mind Valley in a partnership. 
and it's my heart and it's my soul, quite literally, pour it into something that will help transform the lives around the world. When I'm having conversations with my friends and my family, I would rather listen first, observe. Not only am I deeply introspective, but I'm highly observant as someone naturally, and so it's easy for me to listen to other people. And by being heard, you unlock your truth because you're able to speak it. You're actually, you're given a chance to really dive in. It sounds simple, but a lot of people just ignore themselves, they put themselves down, they talk down. It's just like self-sabotage to the max. Your nervous system is all everywhere. Your breath work isn't there. It's time to change all that. Taking me back full circle and watching my coaching practice again. I have to keep telling myself, I'm watching it again. What you have done once, you can do again. You are not starting from scratch, you're starting from experience. Thank you for being here, checking out this story, vibing with me, listening to the reasons why I decided to not only become Mind Valley certified, but return to coaching. So I've always ended my videos this way and it is even more special because I've been about the love, baby. I love you, truly, I really do. I really care about everybody in this life. Again, I am saying, and it's love.